Hey everyone, I am so excited right now. I am bringing you a review of a wig that is brand new and I haven't seen any video reviews on this one yet. So uh, this is the first time I'm getting out there with a review that other people haven't reviewed yet. So this is very exciting for me. So I have on Beltress Spanish Roast in the color Mocha with Cream. And I just want to give a shout out to my friend Deb Heim from the Very Best Little Hair House in Pennsylvania because she is the one who helped me get my hands on this. So Deb is a member of a few Facebook groups that I'm a part of and she is a hair sister and she is also a wig store owner and she owns a brick and mortar wig store in Pennsylvania. As a matter of fact, I wrote it down in Sharon, Pennsylvania and I live in Minnesota so I've never met her in person but I have purchased a few wigs from her uh, through the Facebook groups that I'm in because she often sells wigs uh, at a great discount because she is not, she is a business owner but she's also a hair sister and she really likes to help her hair sisters out and that is the whole reason she started her business was because she found a real gap in the market with someone who uh, wears wigs and understands the challenges of wearing wigs and sells wigs. And so um, she doesn't own an online store, so you can't go to a website and see what she has in stock, but she does work with a lot of people via Facebook, uh, Messenger, she works with people over the phone. And so I just wanna tell you a little bit about Deb and I'll put her just information, some information about her in the box because she's been able to answer some great questions for me. She has sold me a few wigs at a really good price. I did purchase this one from her as well. And so I just wanna show another hair sister a little love. Not that there's anything wrong with the online stores. Every Everybody has a place here, but she's someone who has a special understanding of what we go through with hair loss and with trying to find wigs that work for us. And so she is a, she's sort of John Renault certified. She's also hair you wear certified. She knows how to modify caps. She can cut hair on wigs. She knows how to fit someone for a wig. She has private consultation rooms in her wig store. So if you live in the Pennsylvania area, near her in Pennsylvania, you can go and see her. Um, if you order a wig through her and she has to get it in because she doesn't have it in stock, she will get it. She will take pictures of it for you so that you can see it. Because if you've been wearing wigs for any period of time, you know that it's really nerve wracking what you might get when you order a wig. I um, have a video out there of three different girl monos that I own, all with different curl patterns. And that's really common. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot of variance in these wigs. And so it can be really frustrating when you order a wig that you love, and then you get it and it's nothing like the one that you loved. Um, even more so, it's frustrating to get a wig that seemed to look great on everybody else. And when you get it, it doesn't look like that at all. And so uh, she helps, tries to help eliminate that risk a little bit by ordering them, them into her store so that she can show you what they look like. Either she can video chat you or take pictures and send them to you. And there is no obligation uh, if you have her order one because if you decide you don't want it, then she puts it in her store for sale. So anyway, Deb is wonderful. I um, am so appreciative of her. She got this in because she has worked with Bell Trust for a while and she posted it and I had just said, gosh, I'm really hesitant to buy a wig that I can't see a video review on. I just never really want to do that. And she said that she would sell it to me for a really good price if I was willing to review it. So I'm not reviewing a wig that I received for free, but I did get a good price on it. Um, and so I'm going to give you my honest review, but I wanted to tell you about Deb uh, so that um, I can give some props to a wig sister. So anyway, this is Spanish Roast and she's cute. Um, she is not a shake and go for me though. And so I, I am struggling a little bit with this curl pattern. Uh, it's really uneven. You know, this side is nice and curly and kind of bouncy. And this side, it's got a couple pieces that do this. When I kind of swoop them over into the rest of the hair, they lay fine and they stay there. But they're def it's definitely not an even curl pattern. And so I'm struggling with that. Uh, since it's a Beltress 
heat defiant wig. I am going to try to curl these few pieces and see what happens and see if they'll stay um, and curl up. So I'll report back on that. I did spray her with a little bit of water and like scrunched her a little. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more with of that with her. Uh, you know, this is for the most part an out of the box review and I like always will um, do more reviews on this one. I will because I think she has tremendous potential. So I'd like to see if I can really make her work for me. Let me show you the back. Just a really unique kind of curl pattern. Um, just like almost like you put pin curls in. It's kind of like old Hollywood in a way, uh, it's definitely unique. So I, I think it's a fun, it flir it's flirty is a great description for it, a fun flirty style. It could be a great date night style or a dress up style. I could see this looking, if you put a couple of like sparkly pins in, even if you take this piece that doesn't wanna lay and put some like gem kind of bobby pins in, this could be like wedding hair, you know? either your own wedding, or you could go, you know, if you're invited to a wedding this spring, I can see this being so fun and cute. This really isn't an everyday kind of style for me. It's a little bit too fussy, but for sure, if I were invited to a wedding, my daughter's actually invited to a formal uh, quinceanera, I think it's called. She has a friend who's from Colombia, was born in Colombia, and her parents are having a quinceanera. I think I said that right. Um, she's Turning, she's just turned 15, so my daughter is in her court and we've been invited, so I would wear something like this to that. So a uh, quick, quick color comparison, because I have Lady Latte and I have a video on, of Lady Latte, two of them actually, um, and this is the same color, Mocha with Cream. I am feeling like this one is a lot lighter, a lot lighter. It's really going to be hard to show that in this video, but all of these curls are lighter than even the ends here. It's a lot lighter. And in the back especially, there's a lot lighter colors in here. So that's really interesting to me. Um, I, it doesn't concern me because I'm very comfortable putting low lights in wigs with furniture markers, and I do have a video on that as well. So if I were to feel like there's just too much super light here, I'll just take a furniture marker and swoop it through and it'll be fine. But just those are my initial out of the box impressions. She is a lace front and a mono part. And otherwise, it's just kind of your standard wefting. She does have velvet ear tabs that adjust. Uh, but other than that, oh my gosh, just super fun, super cute, super lightweight. I'll see if I can find some uh, measurements. Since she is new and there really aren't reviews on her out there, I'll see if I can find measurements to share with you. But so this is review number one of at least two reviews that I'll do on uh, the Spanish Roast brand new by Beltress. Uh, one last thing I'll talk about is the lace front. It's not good, unfortunately. It's very, very naughty. I hope it's focusing. It does sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It's very, very naughty. Um, so that's a little, I, I, I don't think I would pull her back. I really don't think I would pull her back. She'd be cute pulled back, but I can't see myself doing it. And I'm I'm kind of comfortable with knots a little bit. I, I don't, I think I've got a higher tolerance for them than some other people. Um, you know, and I don't have a lot of experience with putting makeup on stuff so that it looks good. So I'm not, sorry guys, I'm getting all hot and sweaty here. Uh, I'm not, um, I'm not good with that. So I'm not sure that I would be able to hide it. Now, if you are good with that, you might be able to hide it. It's not a problem if you don't want to pull this one back because the ba the way that the bangs swoop, you can't see the lace and you can't see the knots. So it's really not a big deal. It's just if you were thinking you could do like a cute little twist and you know, keep these swooping over and do a cute little twist, um, I think it's gonna be a challenge with the knots. So, and you know, my Lady Latte doesn't have that at all. The knotting on Lady Latte is much better. And maybe just because it's so dense up here and it doesn't, 
and or I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but the nodding is a bit of a concern. Other than that, I think she's got some potential, and so I'll leave some other reviews. But if you're looking for some fancy hair for events that you have coming up, I think you could do a lot with this one if you're comfortable putting using accessories. She could be really, really cute fancy hair. Anyway, have a good day. Hopefully this was helpful. See you guys later.